Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. O Lord, do not stay afar off. My strength, make haste to help me, for I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood. Grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. 
Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall be, they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus, the nations shall know that I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flocks. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flocks. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror, shouting, They shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Sinabi ng kumahal, kasamaan ay layuan, kasalan ay pagsisihan. Kayo ay magbagong buhay, magpanik loob na tunay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, 
what are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, as we approach Holy Week, which will begin tomorrow with the celebration of Palm Sunday, we are once again reminded by our readings today of the very reason why Jesus had to suffer and die on the cross. And the reason is simply that God wants to save us. Through the death of Jesus and His resurrection, God saves us. But our readings today present to us one meaning of salvation. Salvation is about gathering all those scattered children of God. Salvation is uniting us back with God and with one another. Sa kamatayan ni Jesus, tayo'y kanyang pinag-iisa, tayo'y kanyang tinitipon at binubuklod bilang isang bayan ng Diyos. Sa pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, ipinagkakalod na sa atin ng kaligtasan na siyang muling nag-uugnay sa atin sa Diyos at sa bawat isa. In our gospel today, we heard the counsel of the high priest Caiaphas. He said, It is better that one man should die instead of the people. It is better for one man to die than for, for the whole nation to be destroyed, to perish. And Caiaphas, without being aware of it, was being prophetic. God was using him as an instrument to proclaim what really God intends through the death and resurrection of Jesus, that one man will die so that the whole nation might not perish, that one man will die in order to save the people of God. And this is also what the Lord God says through the prophet Ezekiel in our first reading today. 
that the Son of God is to gather his scattered people. Our first reading is addressed to the people who were in exile. They were scattered. They were far from their own land. But God promises them, I will bring you back to your own land. I will unite you and gather you again as one people. There will no longer be divided kingdoms. You will all be gathered and united into one. My dear brothers and sisters, the salvation being offered to us by Jesus gathers us and unites us. Because evil and sin scatter and divide. Ang kasalanan nagbubunga ng pagkakawatak-watak. Ang kasalanan nagbubunga ng pagkakabahabahagi. Ang kasalanan ang bunga ay pagkakahiwahiwalay. Ang kasalanan at kasamaan nagbubunga ng pagkalat. That is why maybe all of us have experienced it. But when we do evil things and when we commit sin, we feel scattered. Pakiramdam natin kalat-kalat tayo. Nagkakalat tayo dahil sa kasalanan at sa kasamaan na ginagawa natin. At hindi yan ang plano ng Diyos para sa atin. Hindi plano ng Diyos ang pagkakawatak-watak, pagkakabahabahagi at ang ating pagkakalat. Ang kalooban ng Diyos ay pag-ugnayin tayo, pag-isahin tayo, tipunin ang mga nagkawatak-watak na sarili at ugnayan at pag-isahin ito kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, if you feel scattered right now, if you feel divided, cut off from others or from God, then welcome the salvation that Jesus is giving you through His suffering and death on the cross. For it is really better for Jesus to die in order to save us, to unite us, and to make us one. And so as we enter Holy Week tomorrow, as we accompany Jesus through His suffering, death on the cross, and His glorious resurrection, let us welcome the salvation being offered to us by Jesus. The salvation that unites, the salvation that gathers, the salvation that makes us one. Let us pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ to face life and its difficulties, even death for the sake of life and growth for ourselves and for others. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That non-Christians may come to know Jesus who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That separated Christians may show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, who by drawing the faithful together has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to draw your people into closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he decided to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more, giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy blood and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, tomorrow will be Palm Sunday and we will enter into the Holy Week. And our Masses tomorrow, the online live streaming of our Masses, will be at 8 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, and at 6 o'clock in the evening. At para po sa iba pang mga schedules ng ating Holy Week services dito sa Manila Cathedral, ay sumubaybay lamang po tayo sa ating Facebook page para po tayo makasunod at magkaroon ng updates sa mga activities natin dito sa Manila Cathedral ngayong Holy Week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplication as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Faithfully yours until the end to your name.